I've been sitting in this area for a really long time that it's hard for me to go in my other area. So I've been like setting up shop with this little bucket every morning. That's my main planner. Um, my son was making a wanted poster for school with tea. And he gave me this piece of paper because he's not going to use it. So I thought to use it for something. I went to Walmart yesterday and they have these personal notebooks for $1. And I should have got more because they are lined. They're only like 30 pages. <clears throat> the last 15 pages are perforated. So I thought that that was good because Walmart was catching on. I am watching her. Does it show? No, it's not gonna show. Bronte. So I've got my weeks right here. I've been using it this week a lot. And it's just been making me really happy got this little card here it was an actual divider so I've been I put it here with some post-its so if I need to write anything immediately um, which I don't even know why I have it right here because I'm always on the week so this is the one that I back planned and these are the months I took, I think what I did was start putting stickers everywhere for the months to get me excited about using them. So I think I checked or uh, used a sticker pack from like Carpe DM and I pulled it back with this little camera. So I did this in a video where I back planned everything to get me current and this is a January mega so my favorite way of using the weeks is like this where I don't even write very big um, I wrote big right here because I was able to just plot the data down and this is kind of how I like to usually do things. And these cameras are just jacked up. I feel, um, I feel like it's not even focusing. Anyhow, so right here is where I am. And I just been keeping it open to this, to this page. And just filling in things daily. Um, I filled in a lot for the next couple weeks. Because I thought that I was going to take this to my trip with me. I'm still on the fence. I don't think I'll take this huge cover because it's just too big. But I might actually take this. So I don't know. Um, in the back, I've got... The Handle with Care from Peanuts Planner Co. So, just filled out some of that stuff. That's journaling. And then this is when I started using some day. Oh, sorry. Daily pages. So I would have had the bright idea of putting stickers down all the way through for till my trip. That way I can like calm some of my anxiety or try. Um, so I don't know. Now it's just becoming really chunky. And I'm just like, oh man. So the chunk does work for me, but then it really gets on my nerves sometimes um so this is my Giglio Slim Apunto and because this is a mega it gets pretty 
pretty crazy there. So this is one of the things that I've been using alongside my main planner. Um, one thing I did is I found this on Pinterest and it had a curse word. Or it wasn't a curse, it said shit. But I don't, that doesn't really inspire me to wake up in the morning and be like, if there's like the F-bomb or the S-word or like curse words, like people like to put that in their planner. No judgment, shit, I get it, truly. But to me, it doesn't do anything but make me feel like, crap so but I did uh change it up just via Instagram I literally just colored it black right here and left the IT and then put a little image so I really love it now um I forget who was the first one I saw this from oh you probably you guys probably know um, so I kind of just like put it right here. Um, my love for coffee has been intense lately. It's always been intense, but I've always tried to cut it down. Uh, and it's just been so hard. But anyhow, so this is my main planner and I'm really, really, really enjoying the size, which I never thought I would. Um, I also have been just doing stuff for June. I committed to this sticker from Dutch Brothers at the front. Um, I changed this up. This is for my memory page. You not show all kinds of stuff here. Um, but yeah, so I started putting all the tabs down. I wonder why my thing isn't focusing this is like the first time that's really ever happened yeah there so I started putting my tabs down and making them kind of smaller on purpose so when I do take this I'm not gonna have any problem I also today had my husband do the more the mem uh, marriage page and he hasn't done that in a while I haven't read it. Let's just read it. My love, you are a lot of things to me. A wife, a friend, a shoulder to lean on, and a beacon of loyalty. You carry these traits along with so much more. Stay beautifully you. Oh, honey. I put this right here so I can... It's laminated so I can move it each month. And then I'll find a picture of us. So what this does for me is this helps me to focus on my marriage and just on his words and on truth. Um, sometimes my brain can go south. So I've got this little bit of pages left for the month for whatever I want to use, scripture. And this is a, a half year, like I explained. That's a full year, so I'm going to have more. So this is what I've been messing with this week. What is in here? I, my whole goal was to close this box. And now I can't close it. So, let me take out what's in here. It's my monthly. <laughs> that goes to my system. I've been wanting to use these a lot, so I've been trying to use them on my dailies in my weeks. A friend gave me these tabs so I've been religiously trying to use those then I just have little stickers these stickers right here were from a Dollar Tree but um these ones right here these three and so I just been trying to get rid of these and these so all the stickers that I know I want to get rid of this week I kind of have been putting them in my box these are some notes pads that I told myself I'm going to put in my main planner and I never did. This is always very useful to have because if I want to like put a pin loop or use a page marker or do something, I don't know, I really like it. So all of these are my pins that I got, markers that I got from Daiso. 
that are super exceptional. They are like the mild liners, but a whole lot cheaper. They had other colors too, so I might go back. So this is one of my favorite washi tapes because it's faith related and I love it. I always need floss because uh, dental implant, right? So I've got these two washies in here because I want to get rid of them. So my focus has been <clears throat> get rid of these. I've got regular tape because I've always used. This is my favorite, the magic tape from Scotch. And it's not, <clears throat> gosh, my throat. It's more like that matted tape. And it works better than the clear, clear tape. So I use these clips faithfully in my hair. I've been using these since like eighth grade. So I always have to have one in here. White out and glue, of course. So these are all post-its. Where are you going, best friend? <laughs> and so I like to keep those. This went with this. This is a ruler. So I need to be able to organize this somehow, some way, and I have not. I have just been throwing things in my little treasure box. Oh my gosh, I was literally looking for this. What's wrong? I have no idea. I think it's charging in the other room. I've got clips. So my goal is to try my hardest to organize this somehow. I've got my pin. I was looking for this pin. Sorry, my daughter's running like it's a race over here. Um, washi tab. This was gifted to me from a friend, so I want to put that in my planner somehow. Washi. More of these. And then these. Oh my gosh, these are so amazing from Daiso. Um, so I've been using those heavily too. So I need to try to figure out how to how to organize all of this but these are just so cute these are magnets i'm going to actually put them on my fridge now because i thought i was going to use them somehow but these are all mental health stickers laminating sheets and regular stickers so all this has been in this little box and the whole reason i got this box from daiso was to close it and move it around from place to place. But this is my brain. This is what my brain does. So I just, just collect stuff and throw stuff and pile stuff and layer stuff. But my problem is, is I can't see what I got. So let me try to organize it in some way, shape or form and I will come back. That was little bags. This little thing that my friend gave me. I bought this bag it's pretty small this one and this one so i'm gonna see what i could do <laughs> so hilarious because my brain is like what in the hell are you doing so there were these pouches right that had well first of all this pouch had so much stuff in it but i was like man it's see-through and there's two different pockets this would be good for two uses right so i had took everything out and separated it so i can put this here and this here you know, it was basically everything that was in there because these pouches were not going to fit in here. So these are not going in the box. So I'm going to put that over to the side, right? These, I just decided I don't need these. So these are going to go away in my stash. I really love this box. And I think I'm going to put some more little paper clips in this, but I don't know. But look, this is what I did. And I don't know if this is going to work. Because right when I'm looking for something, I really use my mild liners. These are occasional things, like stickers and little... Like this, I can just probably zip up or leave right there. So the whole goal was, can I close it? And yes, I can. I can close it. Okay. So if I wanted to take this on the couch or do whatever, I can. All of this stuff, I'm gonna like 
this goes in my planner, that goes in my planner, that goes in there. So the only other thing is this thing, but whatever. I can totally like do this when I have it open. So when I have it open, I'm always reaching for scissors, floss, not so much these, um, tape, glue, all this. So what I did was I put all of the little sticky notes in this. And I used these heavily for homeschool, they're for flashcards. And I had my daughter's crayons in here, so I was like, she's not even using the crayons, let me just use this. So this carries the sticky notes, the tabs, and it's flat because I don't, I use the sticky notes, but only for like a specific purpose when I want them. And these were at the bottom of the barrel down there. So I was like, okay, so then just put my floss right here, my washi right there, and then just keep all of my stuff that I know that I use right at the, the forefront, right? Pencil is one I use every now and then. So I was like, oh, this will work. But then my brain's like, where are my mild liners? So this might work because I could see them. So when I use them, I can be like, put them back where they belong. So this is funny. I will show you later in the videos, not this video, but probably if it works, I don't know. But my whole purpose of getting this was to be able to put this away right away. And I'm actually going to use these for travel now that I have them out here. So I am gonna do something with these and put them in one of my bigger um, things because these are very good for travel. They're see-through, like I can put some of my toiletries, my vitamins in here and uh, like makeup or whatever. So I love little pouches, I love to the idea of compartmentalizing things, but then sometimes I'm like, if they're not see-through, I don't know where my stuff is sometimes. So, that is this video. <laughs> and thank you for watching.